Okay, now we're going to be talking about ratios and proportional relationships, which is just proportions, which just look a lot like fractions. They're not fractions, but they look a lot like fractions. Okay, we're going to be talking about a lot about unit rate um, in this um, in this set of standards. So this says find the unit rate if Susie reads 45 books in 15 days. All that means, well, let's just set up the, the proportion first of all. Find the unit rate if Susie reads 45 books in 15 days. So she's got 45 books in 15 days. Okay. The unit rate, anytime it asks for the unit rate, it wants to know how many in one day. Okay. So whatever the bottom number is, it wants to know how many in one day. So all you would do is you would just divide 45 by 15. You just take this top number and divide it by the bottom number, just like you would a percent or uh, to find a, a decimal. That's exactly how you would do it. So 45 divided by 15, put <laughs> put that in your calculator because probably you'll have calculators here. Um, clear, 45 divided by, remember it's the slash, 15, and a lot of us could do that in our head, but we got three. So it's three, and don't forget, it's three what? I'm writing down these units. Three, it's not just three. Three doesn't mean anything. Three books per, that's what this line means, per day. In one day, she can read three books. Now we come over here, and I know I see fractions, and I know that you guys you know, dislike fractions. The awesome thing about this is I can tell you straight up, you're not going to be adding or subtracting any fractions. So, yay. Tom swims one half mile every one, half, one quarter hour. How far will he swim in one hour? Okay. And again, this tells you what you're going to be putting on the bottom. It wants to know how much in one hour. So it tells me the I'm going to put the one fourth on the bottom. So one half mile. Notice I'm writing the whole thing out. And I'm drawing a long line because I need to cover my units also in one fourth hours. Well, you might be thinking, well, that's less than one hour. How can I ever figure that out? It's exactly the same as this problem. You're just dividing the top number by the bottom number. And since it's fractions, we'll set it up like this. One half. Notice how I did it like this. I did that on purpose, guys. Divided by one fourth. Okay. Now we remember how to divide fractions. We keep the first one. We change from division to multiplication, and we flip the second one, the reciprocal, okay? Reciprocal just means I flipped it upside down, okay? It's the, so one times four equals four, and two times one equals two. I could leave it like that, but not really, because I don't want to know how many miles in two hours, because that's, that, that's what we have right now. I have four miles in two hours. I don't want to know that. So really, I'm doing it twice. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we can do 2 miles in 1 hour. Okay. Miles per hour, just like when you're driving. Okay. A 4.5 pound bag of apples costs $22.50. What is the unit price? Now be careful because remember, we don't want to know how many pounds per dollar. We want to know how many dollars per pound, right? So think about that. You have dollars per pound. So let's put our dollars on the top. This is something that's very useful for your real life when you're shopping and you want to know what the best deal is. I have a 4.5 pound bag of apples. Oops. So I'm going to use my calculator to do this uh, because it's decimals. So 2250, clear. 22.50, okay. Make sure you pay attention to that decimal point. The one good thing about having the calculator be on the computer is you can see your decimals really well. Divided by, remember it's the slash, and see it tells you what you just did, 4.5. This is really important to pay attention to because if you get the answer wrong, go back and look and see what it says because maybe you accidentally pushed a plus sign or 
or a multiplication sign instead of a division sign. So that equals five. So it came out even, which is great. So $5 per one pound, okay? $5 per pound. So for one pound, it will cost $5. which is actually kind of a lot for apples, by the way. How much would you pay for a pint of milk if you bought five gallons of milk for $28? Okay, guys, this is where fourth grade comes back to bite you because that's where you learned all this volume, okay? If you cannot remember how many pints in a gallon or whatnot, you can always remember you have Galonia, the land of Galonia, and in the land of Galonia, there were four queens. Okay. And each queen had a prince and a princess. Okay. And since I don't need to go down to cups, I won't. But just so you know that each prince and princess had two cups to drink out of. So that's how you can remember your volume. Okay. There's four quarts in a gallon. There's two pints in a quart. So now I know that in one gallon, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pints. But I don't want one gallon. I want five gallons. Remember, how much would you pay for a pint? So one pint, I want to know. So how many pints do I have in five gallons? So $28 is for five gallons of milk, okay? But I don't want five gallons. I want pints here because I want to know for how much for a pint, okay? Now, I could do for one gallon, and I could find out that $28 divided by five gallons is five $5.60 for one gallon, okay? Which is very expensive, by the way. I would never pay this much money for a gallon of milk. But again, I don't want one gallon. I want one pint. So how many pints are in a gallon? All I have to do is take this gallon out and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight, eight pints. So I'm just gonna erase the one gallon and I'm gonna put eight pints. Do you see why writing out your units is useful? Because I know that if this was on the milestones, 5.6 would be an answer. $5.60 would be an answer and you'd see it and you'd pick it and you'd think you were a genius. But then the testing people would be sitting there laughing going, ha ha ha, we got another one. So pints for one pint. So 5.6 divided by eight pints. Divided by eight. Okay. 0.7. So that would be 70 cents, 0.7 dollars for one pint. Still kind of expensive because you buy a pint of milk at school and it costs you like 25 cents, 50 cents. So this is very expensive. But anyway, this is the correct answer, just so you know.